learn from our brothers our thoughts our learn on job about discipline perseverance and tonight we will learn about witness they teach us that we cannot be a witness unless we start with discipline but through perseverance and then be a witness brothers and sisters or PIU students we came all we came from different backgrounds with attitudes, behaviors. We came to PIU and PIU discipline us. As we discipline, we're persevering a lot of struggles, temptation, trials. And as of tonight, I believe that all of us are witnesses. So tonight, I will basically talk about witnessing for we all know that we are witnesses of Christ for you and I you and I claim that we believe in Christ Jesus and what Christ Jesus want, wants us to do is to witness for him yes. I would assume that all of you understand the word witness or witnessing even though you understand that word but I will still share what I understand my understanding of witness Witness. Witness, for my own understanding, is what you see and what you hear, or what you've heard and what you've seen. Witnessing is what you say and what you do. You know. So witness is what you see and what you heard or hear. Witnessing is what you say and what you do. Just like what Grandpa Steve said, that skit. So. I would humbly ask all of you to open your Bible, your Bibles, those who bring their Bibles, please open to the book of Luke chapter 12, verse 8 to 9. Luke chapter 12, verse 8 to 9. In our theme, we learn. In our theme, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 3, we learn two things, discipline, perseverance. So tonight, here in this text, Luke chapter 12, verse 8 to 9, we will learn about witness or witnessing. Luke chapter 12, verse 12, Luke chapter 12, verse 8 to 9 says, I tell you, whoever acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man, will also acknowledge him before the angels of God. But he who disowns me before men will be disowned before the angels of God. In other translation, it says, And I assure you of this, if anyone acknowledges me publicly here on earth, I, the Son of Man, will also acknowledge him in the presence of God. Meaning, Jesus is speaking here saying that, I mean, Jesus speaking, Promising you that if you acknowledge him, if you confess, if you testify, if you witness that Jesus the Son of God, Jesus the Messiah, he himself, Jesus, will also testify for you in the presence of God. In the presence of God, meaning the kingdom. <clears throat> How should we, I mean, witnessing, you all understand, understand what's witnessing. Or how should you witness? It doesn't mean you have to go out on the street or in the public and then you start shouting, Jesus, the Son of God, Jesus. Because they would think you're stupid. But in a sense, whatever you do, you're witnessing. So if you're doing something bad, you're, you're not witnessing for Christ. You're witnessing for yourself. But if, you're, if you do something good, you're witnessing for Christ. But as we go out there, we witness, we, as we go out, we have to witness for Christ. But as we witness for Christ, please do not be, uh, do not fear, or do not be afraid and ashamed of Christ. As it's written in Acts of Joshua 1.9, 
Joshua 1 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I know that, I mean, I believe that as 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 soon as you hear this uh, verse in Luke chapter 12, you will start questioning or fearing. Like myself, when I read this verse and I really tried to understand this verse or study this verse, I began, I recalled the times or the past times in my life when I had the opportunity and chance to witness for Christ, but I did. Why? Because sometimes I may be afraid, sometimes I'm ashamed. But here it says, if we disown Him, He will disown us. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 to 9. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 to 9. It says, <clears throat> Oh, before I read that verse, sorry. I'm kind of nervous. As we witness or as we go out and witness for Christ, we shouldn't be fear. For it is not just us that we're doing the witnessing work, or it's not us. It's not only us that we're witnessing. The Holy Spirit is also with us. And in Second Timothy first Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven to nine, it says, For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love and self of self discipline. So do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord, or ashamed of me, or oh that was Paul. But join with me in sufferings for the gospel by the power of God who has saved us and called us to a holy life. Not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given, given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, says, Don't, do not. Let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, and in, in faith, and in purity. A reminder, just to remind all of us, that if we disown him, he will disown us in the end. Before I sit down, I like to ask us, or ask myself and you, uh, two, two questions. Why a shame of Jesus or disown Jesus just for us?